12 seed, DePaul in New Mexico State, going to send you out to Tempe, and Brad Nessler and Ann Myers for that game. Enjoy it. All right, Pat, thank you very much. From University Activity Center in Tempe, Arizona, our first round matchup of this West Regional has the Aggies of New Mexico State pitted against the Blue Demons of DePaul. And here's how the West bracket here in Tempe looks. Later on, the number one seed in the West, UCLA will take on Robert Morris. And there's our day's activities. Our opening matchup, DePaul in New Mexico State. The Blue Demons of DePaul. New Mexico State, who won the Big West Tournament. New Mexico State, a small team, very quick, but also very aggressive in their rebounding. And their defense is their key to everything. For DePaul, they have to rebound against this Aggie team, and their strength is in their guard play. But look for their two seniors, David Booth and Stephen Howard, the big two big guys. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. Trailer and Reed matched up with Hickman, Crawford, and Benjamin for the Aggies and for the Blue Demons, Booth and Davis, Howard, who Annie just mentioned, and Doherty and Nathan in the backcourt. DePaul at one point this season, a lowly six and five, but they have really come on strong. They've won nine of their last 11. They were embarrassed by Memphis State in the great Midwest tournament semifinal. They're a little bit banged up, but Joey Meyer thinks he has a pretty good team here, and he'll find out against Neil McCarthy's Aggies of New Mexico State, who make their third consecutive NCAA appearance. There's Neil McCarthy, seventh year. 142 wins at the helm of this program. And it's a team that's put together from young men from all over the country. They've got players from 12 different states and Canada. And he, Joey Meyer, meanwhile, in his eighth year, 168 wins. And for the 50th season, there's a Meyer sitting in that chair. Ray had 42 of them. Joey now in his eighth year. The officials, Danny Hooker from the Metro Conference, Duke Edsel and Larry Rose from the ACC. We're all set. Cliff Reed. And Stephen Howard to jump to get it underway here in the West. You can expect a game from the Aggies as far as up-tempo. They're going to try and run it. They are small. Sam Crawford, the 5'8 senior guard, second in the nation in assists, really passes the ball well, sets his team up very patient. Defensively, DePaul will play a man-to-man. -man. And go to their guards on offense. Hickman on top, the tallest player for the Aggies. Reed works inside, had it knocked away by Davis. New Mexico State is a very patient team on offense. They look for the shots inside. Again, their players are not big. Cliff Reed at 6'5", Eric Trailer at 6'7", but they are bangers. We also got Chris Hickman at 6'9", in the middle. Crawford having trouble getting it in, and finally does to Reed. 15 on the shot clock. Hickman tried to kick it outside to Crawford. And now we're under 10 on the shot clock as Crawford penetrates. Cleared off by Stephen Howard of DePaul. On top for the Blue Demons, Howard Nathan and Joe Doherty. The Aggies play a 2-3 matchup zone. Howard with a fadeaway doesn't go. Davis puts it back. Booth with a third shot and got it. yesterday, Brad, that DePaul had to rebound against this Aggie team. He felt that they were bigger than the Blue Demons. Whistle, we've got a foul inside. Davis trying to work inside, and he picks up the foul. Against the man-to-man -man defense, one of the most consistent players and best defensive players for DePaul. Davis, you see him, a lot of hand checking down there, and trailer not happy with the read. Crawford, nice spin move by Trailer. There's that jumping ability of Reed, but he had knocked away from behind. Nice block inside, good defense by DePaul. Good block by Booth with a hook pass inside, but knocked away by William Benjamin, the lone returning starter for New Mexico State from a year ago. One thing about the Aggies that makes them so tough on the boards, Brad, is the fact that they can play with so much heart. Neil McCarthy feels it's a team of destiny. There's a five-second call. Good defense. 
in the past, Neil McCarthy's teams have been teams that have run and have played man-to-man -man defense, pressure defense, pressing all the time. This year, they've been playing a 2-3 zone because he feels they have fresher legs right now in the tournament play. We're almost two minutes in, and we have but one basket. Aggies still looking for their first, and they get it inside from Chris Hickman. That was a great pick and roll. And a foul. Up the foul. I'm sorry, Brad, with the Aggies' size, too, the thing that makes them so impressive and they work so hard, they play the fundamentals because they know they cannot overpower a bigger team. The Aggies in the 2-3 zone now. And the ball looking to work it around the perimeter. Ball loose, Sam Crawford with a steal. And the basket. We knew he'd be fun to watch. Well, you see the freshman, Howard Nathan, kind of letting the ball go, and Sam Crawford with his quickness and speed, and Mr. Excitement at 5'8", goes up, and a chance for three. Sam Crawford played at Moore Park Junior College. Last year completes that three-point play, and a three-point Aggie lead. away by Benjamin, another turnover. Good hands by Doherty Steele. Great, great interceptions by both teams stepping into the passing lanes. DePaul offensively is really frustrated right now against that 2-3 matchup zone. Trailers three, no good. And cleared ahead, Booth got it up to Nathan. That's what the Blue Demons would like to do is run. Good transition defense by the Aggies. That one in and out and picked up by Doherty. Kept alive, so the Blue Demons on the boards. Those of you expecting to see Delaware and Cincinnati, you will in its entirety coming up at 2.56. We'll be taking to that game coming up in just a bit. Three-pointer has tied it up at five here in the West Regional between DePaul and New Mexico State. Crawford looks inside, forced to the bit, another turnover. Both teams a little shaky trying to get the ball inside. Booth has all five of the Blue Demon points. Benjamin clears off the miss by Terry Davis. Coming out before this game, Joy Meyer felt that because of the rebounding advantage that the Aggies had, they're so aggressive that they would try and go inside right away, but the defense, they cannot. We didn't expect Chris Hickman to be this much offense this early. And his bucket puts the Aggies back in front by two. This is the 10th straight game that Hickman has started for the Aggies. Tough shot rattles out. Rebound came off the trailer. State with 15-10 to go first half here in Tepe, Arizona. Crawford got a nice pick and was fouled as he went to the lane. That one's going to be on Howard Nathan, I think, and if so, it's his second. Joey Meyer wondering about his Blue Demons. They trail by two with 15-03 to go first half. It's New Mexico State with a 10-8 lead over the Blue Demons of DePaul. Brad Nestler and Ann Myers, what we expected early. I don't know, DePaul looks a little shaky right now with a lot of turnovers. They're having a tough time getting the ball inside. They're going to have to start hitting their outside shots to open up the inside game. And defensively, the Aggies are doing a tremendous job. Well, the Aggies expected to be a tough 
rebounding team, said Joey Meyer, and so far they have been. Despite their lack of size, they've played well inside. They lead by two, and they'll bring it in on their own baseline. Benjamin lost the handle, but got it before it went out of bounds. Changing up defensively. Coming out of the timeout, they tried to make some adjustments to stop the ball inside against the Aggies. Strong rebound that time by Stephen Howard. It also puts the Blue Demons in a better position to rebound defensively. Drive for the quick transition score on the other end. Terry Davis doesn't get it the first time, but he got it the second time, and we're tied at 10. The ball on the boards. That's what Joey Meyer was hoping for. They have the rebounding edge. Most of that on the offensive glass. Reed tried to tip it back in. Howard got it to Doherty and ahead to Booth. And now DePaul was set. Trying to go up on top. But they throw it away. Leak. Malcolm Leak just came in off the New Mexico State bench. And he's in the book in a hurry. 12-10 Aggies. League started early in the season, started 22 games, and then Chris Hickman stepped in for him in the last 10 games. Felt that Leak was better coming off the bench. Crawford helps out on the double team on Howard. Now Booth cut off on the baseline, and he threw it away. Six turnovers against DePaul here early. And the last two possessions basically have been David Booth, the senior, who needs to calm down a little bit more and gather himself with some more poise. New Mexico State's biggest lead was five. Right now, a two-point advantage with 13-20 to go first half. There's DePaul's turnovers. And Joey Meyer's going to have to straighten that out or his team will be in a bunch of trouble. Leak had it partially blocked, got it back and scored. Back-to-back -back baskets by Leak. Leak averaging over 10 points a game coming off the bench. He just feels more comfortable and adds a spark for the Aggies. They're getting points off turnovers, and here they come again, three on one. A six-point Aggie lead. DePaul's trying to go over on the top. As far as their passes are concerned, they're telegraphing everything against his zone. The Aggies with 11 points off turnovers. DePaul has yet to score off a mistake. Hickman. This 2-3 matchup zone by the Aggies is causing a lot of pressure. Even on the outside, you saw this last possession. They came way outside to double team. DePaul was able to get the ball inside on the baseline and, and penetrate Hickman picking up his first personal, but they are just all over the place. They're swarming like bees. Hickman gets a breather, and Eric Trailer comes back in for the Aggies. Outside, three-pointer for Booth. That's his second three, eight points for Booth. And it's back to a three-point. New Mexico State lead. New Mexico State with their little guy Crawford out there, Benjamin, the other guard. And he's joined by Cliff Reed, Malcolm Leak, and Eric Trailer. And it's Reed on the baseline drive. And what a great pass by Sam Crawford. The ball with Doherty, Howard, Booth. Terry Davis, who's got it now. And Booth, who's going to try to light it again from three-point range, and that time too hard. Last touch by Crawford. And DePaul will have it out of bounds when we come back. 11.43 to go in the half. It's New Mexico State by five. Are supposed to win for the most part, and he has. Well, they really have. Tulane's really been the only upset against St. John's, and North Carolina struggled a little bit, so did Seton Hall. Shaquille O'Neal with that big triple double last night. That had everybody talking. Perry Clark for Tulane gets his first win, and a guy that won't have a chance to be in the tournament, Jerry Tarkanian here, signing his book here in town, we understand, and also taking in a little hoops. Doesn't have a towel with him. His team had a great year in the Big West. 16-0. Many of you will be 
be seeing Iowa State and North Carolina Charlotte. That tip is coming up shortly, and we'll keep you posted on this game as we go this afternoon. Stern off the bench, puts it in for DePaul, and now